As you know, this is Sanctity of Life Sunday. Since the infamous uh, month, the Sunday was two weeks ago, since Roe vs. Wade, millions of unborn children, not using their medical terminology, fetuses and embryos and zygotes, and, but children from the moment of conception, children made in the image of God, have been killed in the womb. The government protects unborn eagles in an egg. It's a felony to destroy one. They're all the whale watchers who care about the whales. But God's people should care about children. As you know, I love children. Wish God had given us more. <laughs> How I love my little grandchildren. And they run around and wrestle with me on the floor. I still remember one of the two little Chinese boys that Anastasia adopted at Judy's funeral. After the funeral, running up and grabbing my leg, hugging me and saying, Grandpa, I love Jesus. Children are a heritage of the Lord, and the fruit of the womb is his reward. Blessed is the man that has his quiver full of them. What a tremendous blessing it is to know that man is not only made in the image of God, but that we can have a personal relationship with him. Evangelist Ray Comfort has produced a film which has gone viral. Literally millions of people have seen it, which deals with the issue of... You don't have to put it in yet, Keith. Oh, okay. <laughs> Okay, so that's fine. Okay, thank you. Um, but uh, Evangelist Ray Comfort, a uh, very creative evangelist. Uh, I've showed you some of his videos in the past. And uh, he is very bold and very willing to be in the face of people. He stands on a soapbox in public areas and preaches and takes on all comers, and they can holler and scream and yell at him and do all kinds of things. And uh, he has a microphone for them, and they can speak, and the crowd loves it. They gather around, they listen to what's going on, and uh, he shares the gospel of Christ. He's very bright, very articulate, uh, and has led thousands of people to Christ. And he's produced this video tonight. Uh, what does he say on this particular issue when he speaks to young people that within seconds changes their mind? And so we're sharing this with you tonight. May God bless it.
of the human race. Arafat was sanctioned the murder of 11 million people, including 6 million Jews, through what's commonly called the Holocaust. In Germany, statues of Hitler forbidden, and his Nazi salute is illegal. And in Austria, if you even deny the Holocaust took place, they'll throw you in jail. Germany still wants to keep alive the memory of that horror, and has mandatory Holocaust education for its children. This is because, as we have rightly said, those who forget history are destined for a fear. Adolf Hitler, what do you know about him? He was a... a... what's it called? Famous kind of a president. What do you know about Adolf Hitler? I really don't know anything about him. Have you heard of Adolf Hitler? Um, no. Never heard of him? No. I vaguely remember him. Who was Adolf Hitler? Um, he was the guy that's in... was he German? I really don't know that much about him. Who was Adolf Hitler? Um... Uh, this guy... with a... with a mustache. Who was Adolf Hitler? Uh, he was a communist strike leader of Germany. Who was Adolf Hitler? I don't know. No idea at all? No. Uh, he was a communist? Oh, is he like an uh, uh, actor or someone? He played something about Holocaust. So tell me what you know about Adolf Hitler. I, I don't know anything about him. Have you ever heard of him? Uh, no, I haven't. Who's the guy with the stuff? Uh, Joe Bell, I'm sorry. You're about to meet Steve. As you'll see, Steve is a self-proclaimed neo-Nazi who loves Adolf Hitler, hates Jews, and people are dark skin. White people are out there.
1939, you've got a high power rifle with Adolf Hitler as in your sights. Do you take him out? Absolutely. Right. So you didn't hesitate. Would you take him out? Yes. Okay, it's uh, about 30 years earlier. Um, Mrs. Hitler was pregnant with Adolf. Would you take her out? If I knew what he was going to do? Yeah. Would you shoot him? I mean, if I mean, if I was shooting him, dear human right. Would you go back 30 years earlier, and Adolf Hitler's mother is pregnant with Adolf, and you've got a high powered rifle? You had one shot. Would you take him out? Would you kill her to kill him? Oh, uh, definitely. Kill her, kill him, and kill his relatives, everybody who belongs to keep her family. Did he kill millions of Russians? Oh, yeah, that's not he personally, but German army. And then millions and millions. The Russia lost about 30 million people in the Second World War. And uh, he destroyed, the uh, German army destroyed. Uh, most of the European part of Soviet Union. Did you lose any relatives? Oh yeah, I lost my father, my grandmother, my aunt, my brother. Would you 
was to be shot in the mirror of the eye, don't you think? Oh, I think so, yeah. So you wouldn't shoot them in the mirror, then? Yeah, no. What's the difference? Because I would think that most of them would be dead. That would be the... There are some still alive. Yeah, I would probably try to talk that out of here, out of my mind. Would you do what he says? Absolutely not. You may as well shoot me. If he said, uh, take my gun, we've got a dozen officers pointing their guns at you, I want you to shoot those Jews. No, you go, no, no. So you wouldn't shoot them? No. I would you bury them? If that... No. Well, then I would probably do it just to save myself and my family. If he said to you, I want you to take this machine gun and finish those Jews off, would you do that? No, yeah, I wouldn't kill anybody. I could do it. But you're burying them alive, which is worse than being shot with a bullet. You're killing me, man. Uh, uh, that's a tough decision. Would you do what he wants? Yeah. You just drive it forward? You wouldn't hesitate? No. Would you drive it forward? No. No, I would not. Would you do what he wants? No. Why not? Well, for one, that's not morally right to me. What can one person do if just that one person got out of the bulldozer? You know what I mean? Like, then their life is, is gone too. It's that everyone needed to rise up against him. You know, and I think that's what a lot of people, where was the world? You know, where where was everybody? You know, I mean, everybody is made up of individuals who would say, I could never bury human beings alive. I'd rather die than do that. You value life? Of course. So you wouldn't take human life? You, you value human life? Yeah. How do you feel about abortion? Mm. It all depends. That's a tricky subject. Sounds like you value human life. I do value human life. Alicia, how do you feel about abortion? Uh, I feel that um, it's a it's a woman's right to choose, and every situation is a different situation. I'm for abortion. You know, that's a tricky situation. Um, I am pro-life, but, you know, until you're, it's really easy from the outside to say, oh, I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that, but until you actually get in that situation, there's no saying what you will do. I mean, it's really... If you're pro-life, do you believe it's a baby in the womb? Absolutely, yes. Who is it become life? Well, it kind of does at the start, but it's not as much until after three months. This is actual footage of a baby in the womb at just six weeks to six days of age. You can clearly see the baby's eyes, hands, and heartbeat. There's a penis there, not a baby. You don't think it's a baby? Not yet, not until a few months. Do you think it's a baby in the womb? Yes. Okay, finish the sentence for me, okay? It's okay to kill a baby in the womb when? I don't know. Do you think it's a baby in the womb? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, finish the sentence for me. It's okay to kill a baby in the womb when? If it comes from something that shouldn't happen. When does it become a life? <laughs> That's a tough one. I know. Okay, here's, here's a question. If you're in doubt, okay, I'm a, I'm a construction worker and I see a building and I say to you, I'm just going to blow up that building in a minute. Um, there's a possibility there's somebody in there I just don't know, but I'm going to blow, blow up anyway. What would you say to me? I'm not sure if there's life in that building or not, but I'm going to blow up anyway. Have you had an abortion? Actually, yes, I have. Do you feel guilty about it? No. What justifies the killing of a baby in a womb? If you can't support it when it comes out. They think it's better to have a plan. They think it's, you know, if you're going to do something like that, you should have definitely given it much, much more thought. It's not something you should, you know, just lightly say, oh, well, you should go do it, you know? Can you say it's like saying, look, before you bury those Jews alive, just give some thought and then bury them alive? You see that silly? Yeah, I see where you're going with this. Um, I guess you could say it's kind of the same thing. Yes, you, Frank, you would give your life for Jews who are going to die anyway. And yet you want to speak up against the murder of children in the womb. I would like you to say, that is wrong. To kill a child in the womb, the safest place on earth is a mother's womb, and to actually go in there and destroy a human life. Why? For selfish reasons. I mean, I guess, but I mean, it's just an odd reason. Well, tell me a reason for killing a baby in the womb. Well, I mean, you know, if it's a rape or something like that, you know what I mean? Which is, a, I know it's a tough decision, but that's mentally, you know, for... Why is it tough? Why would you kill the baby for the crime of a father? Which is worse, murder or rape? You're murdering a child, taking another life because of the crime of a father. Who knows when life begins? I wouldn't know. You think God knows when life begins? I 
think, yeah, probably. And do you know what sex would come out of this? No, no. It says you shall not kill. So you should say it's never right to kill a child in the womb. This, and Hitler declared Jews as non-humans, and that's what you're doing when you're saying, it's not a baby until three months. That's what I think. It's very subjective. And if you're not sure, it's taking a terrible risk with somebody else's life. Imagine if someone said that about you when you were just on three months old, and they decided to kill you because of selfish reasons. I wouldn't want other people to judge me, so I wouldn't want to do that to other people. So whatever their decision is, you know, it's, on, it's, up, it's between them and God. It's their baby. Who's the The mother. She's got a right to kill her. If she can't, if she feels she can't take care of it, or she, um... That's criteria. I can't take care of this in the field of my life, I'll kill her. Yes. Wow. Do you value human life? Yeah. Are you a Christian? Um, in a sense, I, I believe in God completely. What's the sixth commandment? I don't know. You shall not kill. Why would you advocate the murder of a child in a womb if you know God says you shall not kill? You should you should be dogmatically against the killing of children in the womb. It's the safest place on earth, a woman's womb, so why would you say it's okay to kill children in the womb? There's no way that you're going to change my opinion on this because I believe it is a woman's choice. I just, I personally would not do it, but I believe it should be a choice. You know, there's all sorts of medical problems, there's all sorts of birth defects, whatever. So you know that their quality of life is going to be pretty restrained into a 9 by 9 house number. So you're saying? I think that it, it's fair to kind of live that, you know, what type of quality of life is that? The Nazis are in front of you. They're going to kill kids with Down syndrome. They're going to kill them all. They did this. You think that's okay then? No, absolutely not. It's okay quality of life. Definitely not. No, it was the same thing as that quality of life. There's no possible way that that child would have a good life, so why raise that child to have a bad life? How yeah, can you make that judgment when the child's not born? Um, I can say that about any child. This child could have a bad life, I think I'll kill her. What about you? It's okay to kill a baby in the womb when? Um, when you're In America, in our country, that's sanctioned by the government. You think so? Okay, okay, kill kids and women? I don't think it's okay. I, I, I just don't think that. Um... But isn't that like what well, Nazi Germany was about? It's like saying, well, Hitler did what's wrong. I think it's his choice. I don't think it's okay, but he did it, and it was his choice to do so. And he had that sanction of the German people because they allowed him in, so it's okay, but even though you know, I don't agree with it. You say it's a similar thing? Uh... Asian people like that, it is very similar, yeah. It's very similar to, to say that. Uh, I guess me saying that it's okay for someone to choose is the same thing as saying it's okay for him to choose. You gonna change your stance on Uh, yeah, it's definitely, it's definitely making me think, yeah. I'd like you to feel like you would in Germany when Jews being killed all around you. You'd be horrified, and we've got a Holocaust in America where real babies are being murdered because of a woman, woman's choice, and it's legal. It's like Nazi Germany. He did it legally. He's not, he did it really legally wrong. But I think in some situations, it can be necessary. I think it leaves a baby in the womb. Yeah. So finish the sentence off for me. Killing the baby in the womb is okay when? Uh, there we go. Never. <laughs> really, I know that she called it a child. So finish the sentence for me. It's okay to kill a child in the womb when? Well, maybe it's just okay if you adopt it out and just not keep it because if somebody's not ready for it. So you're saying that you're changing your mind about abortion yeah. right now? Yes. <laughs> yes. It sounds bad when you put it in that kind of words. Would you ever vote for someone who was for the killing of children in the womb? No. Well, that's great. So if you just changed your mind about abortion? Yeah, it's not something I've thought about much, but I figured if I was ever in a situation like that, I'd just give it up for adoption if I couldn't take care of it myself, so, but I've never really thought about it like that, I guess. Isn't that great to give up for adoption instead of killing it? Yeah. It's a wonderful option, adoption. And just as you felt strongly about the life of Jews, and we need to rise up as one person and speak against it, don't you think we need to do that when it comes to the issue of abortion? I think you have a valid point there. I never paralleled those two. Um, Holocaust and yeah. abortion. Yeah. I feel like it should be allowed because it is a choice, but I feel
speed of money's existence. Does that make sense? Yeah. It makes total sense. So, John, you're a big trouble on Judgment Day. By your admission, you're a lying thief, a blasphemer, a dog, or a hard fornicator. So, will you go to heaven or hell? From the way it sounds, hell. Does that concern you? Absolutely. No, 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 no. You got it all wrong. Ah, guilty. Would you go to heaven or hell? No. Does that concern you? Yeah. Good. Does it concern you that if you died today and God gave you justice, you'd end up in hell? Not really, no. With all the right other things right around, I'm going to hell. I'm not okay with that. You'd be guilty of breaking the commandments. So, does it concern you that if you died today, you'd end up in hell? Yes. So, you're starting to think about your life and how valuable it is? Yes. Does it concern you that if you died today and God gave you justice, you'd end up in hell? I think God's a loving God, and I think He would, uh, He would see my heart. You know, He does, and He sees a liar, and a blasphemer, and an adulterer heart. But if you're, if you're repentant, there's something you can actually do because of God's kindness to have all your sins forgiven. Do you know what God did for sinners? Any idea? He sent His Son, Jesus Christ, to the earth to, um, to die on the cross for the sinners. So if God judges you by the Ten Commandments on the Day of Judgment, do you think you'd be innocent or guilty? Guilty. Heaven or hell? Uh, hell. Does that concern you? Uh, yes, it does, though. You know, God gave you a conscience so you know right from wrong. You know it's wrong to lie and steal and fornicate and blaspheme. It's written on your heart. Do you understand the legal implications of what he did? God's a judge and his eyes are guilty because you violated his law, the Ten Commandments. You're heading for a place called hell, God's prison, without parole, but Jesus stepped in and paid your fine on that cross. That means God can legally dismiss your case because your fine was paid for by another. Uh, is this thing explain that a God will put a nice guy like me into hell? But a criminal might say that to a judge, but the judge will figure out which is right, even if it's a nice guy who's raped and murdered. He's going to get the books on him, and you'll find that in God's law, even though you might be a nice guy. You're a self admitted lying thief, blasphemer, a dull or huh? God will give you justice, but He's not willing that any perish. He's given you something that it says, I don't want to die. Listen to it, man. You've got a cross in the middle of your eyes. Think about what Jesus did on that cross. Think about how much God cares about sinners that He'd do that. In the Bible verse, for God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whoever believes on Him should not perish but have everlasting life. And He rose from the dead, and what you've got to do is repent, turn from your sins, trust in Jesus, God will give you everlasting life, and forgive your sins. Does that make sense? Yes, sir. And the thing that will save you is God's goodness, the Savior, Jesus. He's like a parachute. Turn into a parachute on Savior by putting on the will. And the moment you put on the Lord Jesus Christ, the moment you put your trust in the Lord, God will forgive your sins, dismiss your case, and grant you a gift of everlasting life. God will forgive our sins, including abortion, and grant us the gift of everlasting life. Does that make sense? Yes. Do you have a Bible at home? Yes. Do you ever think about this? Yes. So if you'd like to thank God gave you justice, you get up and out. But two things you have to do to be saved, you've got to repent, not just confess your sins, but turn from them. And trust the love in Jesus Christ. When do you think you'll do that? Well, um, probably as soon as possible. Wouldn't everybody? Do you have a Bible at home? Yeah, I got a Bible at home. Well, would you please think about this? Yeah, of course. Sure, sure, why not? Shortly after the war ended, the American military made those living near the concentration camps go through them. They wanted to see firsthand what had caused the smoke to billow from the chimneys of those camps and to witness what the leaders that they had allowed within their power had done. Notice their lighthearted demeanor as they entered the camp, obviously unaware as to the horror that had taken place in their own backyard. And look at the change on their faces once they realized what had actually taken place. No doubt there's an abortion clinic near you. Perhaps you should pay them a visit to see what actually takes place behind their walls so that you can witness firsthand what's happening in your own backyard. Over 15 million human beings have been murdered in America's Holocaust, sanctioned by political leaders who have been put into power by the American people. Please, never ever give your vote to any politician who advocates the murder of a child in the world. Do you vote differently and think differently about this? Yeah, I 
think I would. I think I definitely would. Because you're right. I had just said about the Holocaust, where was the world if everyone would band together, you know, make a difference. I couldn't have said it better than Alicia. If you need help in any way regarding the issue of abortion, please go to Heart Change and Help on the details. We would love to get one aid into the hands and homes of every person in America and throughout this whole world. If you feel the same, we need your help now. Please go to heartchange.com.